This is Jack again. Today we're going to demonstrate the Bosch demolition hammer checked out from the Oakland Tool Lending Library. So this is the box you'll get. Inside the box, the demo hammer. It has a lubricant. <clears throat> It has a couple different bits. Spade bit, this is really good in dirt and uh, clay. Excellent piece. This puppy will crack concrete or stones. And so will this, just a plain drill bit. So as you set up your demolition hammer, it has a handle. This is really handy because this puppy weighs. You can move it <clears throat> up and down and rotate it completely around the body so it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed or where the work happens to carry you. Once you get it in a convenient spot for you, tighten this handle and it'll stay in place. Make sure you get it all the way tight, otherwise the vibration of the tool will shake it loose. Then, to put a bit in, we're going to be going into concrete, so we'll just use this straight bit. The collar, push it down, insert the bit, it's fluted, see? Insert the bit, spin it until it goes all the way in tight, and then just release the collar. It's locked in now and you're ready to go. This is a two-prong tool. It's double insulated. <clears throat> Plug it in and you're ready to go. Make sure that you've got whatever bit you're using positioned where you want the, <laughs> the demolition to happen because that bit will go through this concrete just as easily as it goes through your boot and you don't want to put a demo hammer bit through your boot. So this wheel on the side of the Bosch demolition hammer with its numbers will tell you how fast the, the drill has been set. So it goes from one to six. Then on top, where the main handle is, is this exciting slide switch. And that will turn the beast on. 